And Flight SMA has been funding Dr. Kaspar for his preclinical work, and this is essential. If you're not, you have to do toxicology for these types of biologics, mm -hmm. and this is an absolutely essential step towards moving this towards the clinic. And he's these studies are underway, and I think it's a, it's an exciting time. Yeah, no question. I think that w this is, we are beginning the age of clinical trials mm -hmm. for novel SMA therapeutics. And whether or not we're talking about oligonucleotides or gene therapy or small molecules, mm -hmm. I think that all of these are going to be either in the clinic mm -hmm. within the next 12 to 18 months or right on the cusp. Mm -hmm. and then. Once that bar is crossed and we know what we're trying to establish in terms of <coughs> having an FDA approved compound, then I think that things move much more rapidly. Agreed. I think five years from now we'll have at least one, uh, if not more, uh, effective therapy, SMN inducing therapy, either a biological and or a pharmacologic, maybe pharmacologic more likely than biologic. By biologic, I mean gene therapy or oligo uh, DNA based. And I think Newborn screening for spinal muscular atrophy will be the, the national norm, both in Europe and North America. This is the idea of identifying babies uh, in the first week of life who have the disease long before they s develop the symptoms. And those are the ones that will, I think, benefit mostly from these treatments. So I think the, I think the future is a bright one. It's a little bit of, with the newborn sp screening, I think it's a little bit of a chicken and the egg mm -hmm. where newborn screening is often brought about by having a therapeutic that works. Right. Except for the fact that newborn screening would then allow patients to be treated pre-symptomatically, which would create compounds that work. Yes. And so once you have s enough evidence to push this forward, I think that things will, will really move quickly and that this is a great way to really embolden the community and get everybody around newborn screening.